Hi, I'm John and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you different ways to make planets with spray paint. So I'm going to be showing you four different ways and they are one with a lid stencil. This is just off a food tub. A bowl, a plastic bowl. A circle cut out from glossy paper. And then a reverse cut out stencil. And this is also made from glossy paper. I'll be painting each one on glossy paper to show you as well. And I'll be using Montana White synthetic spray paint. This is a high gloss spray paint. So the first one I'm going to be showing you is this one. I've got to do the background first so it's completely dry when I put this one over the top of it. So I'll just spray all the background black. And add a few stars. Just spray some on your fingers and then flick them onto a sheet. So that's got it completely dry now, so we'll leave that to dry while we move on to the next ones. So the next one I'm going to do is move on to this one, because this has got to be completely dry as well, replacing this one on top. Bit of black shadow. And some white. And for the texture on this, I'm going to be using magazine paper. So we'll just crunch it up to get some texture in it, some lines and that. To make your texture on your planet. So we'll just lightly rub it on. To produce some texture. And we'll add a shadow and eye light to it. Shadow with a black, highlight with a white. So we've got to leave this one to completely dry now. So we'll move on to these next two here. So I'm just using two different colours for each one so you can do them. Um, nothing fancy for these. Place it on, give it a light rub. Can always go back, give it another rub, make a bit more texture. So I like that one, so highlights and shadows on it. So we'll leave that to dry now and move on to this last one.
place it on. I'm just going to rub my fingers on this one. And we'll peel it off. I like some shadow on it. So that's all the paint down for the planets at the moment. These have got to completely dry now. Because if you don't, uh, these will stick to the wet paint. And then when you pull them off, you'll leave bits of paper on them all. And wreck your paintings. And then if you don't leave these to completely dry, when you put these lid stencils on the bowl and the lid, they'll leave a ring around your planet. So we've got to leave these to completely dry now. So this is going to take about 15 minutes or so to dry. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave these to dry. And then come back once they're dry. Right then, I've left these for about 10-15 minutes now. As you can see, these are completely dry now. So I can go ahead and place the stencils over the top now. To make your planet. So the first one is a lid stencil. Just a flat lid stencil. Like that, not very high. So I'll place that over covering some shadowed area. And some of the highlighted area. This bowl seems pretty high. So I'll do the same here. And then for this one, I'll be putting straight over the top. This is why I said the paint needs to be completely dry because all of the lid will be, all of the stencil will be touching the paint. And then the last one is a reversed planet stencil. So this one will just sit over the rest of the card here. That's why I said this one needs to be completely dry as well. Because it'll be sitting over the paint. And if it's wet, this will all stick to the wet paint. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to put some weights on here so you get a nicer line around it. So you don't get any underspray underneath the lid stencil and it doesn't move. And also around this one... So you get no bleeding underneath the lid stencil. So the paint bleeds underneath the stencil. And it's not a nice circle. I'll just grab a few more weights. As, if this is completely dry, you can put as many weights as you want on it to hold it down. It's entirely up to you. So I think that's enough weight on there. What I'm also going to do is I'm just going to put a weight on top of this bowl just to hold it in place and to hold it down so your planets look a bit crisper and nicer. So there are all the lid stencils on now. We'll just move and do a background on these three first. So just with a black paint, go a bit light around your lid stencil so you get no leaking underneath it. And I'm going to fill the rest of the sheet in black. Same as this one. Go a bit lighter. But you have to lean over more on these balls because you can't see the backs. Because they're high up on the sheets. They're not the best things to use. For your planet. And then round this one. Go light round it. So that's the background done on them three. What I'll do is move on to this one now. What I'll do is I'll do the planet now. So I'm going to be using red and ye yellow for this one. So what you want to do is you want to spray it pretty light inside this stencil. Because if you spray too much in it, it might bleed underneath. That's the red. Like I said, I'm just going to just two two block colours on these planets, just to show you. The easiest way of doing planets, just do two colours, 
one on top of each other and a bit of black we'll go a bit of white and we'll use some magazine paper again so I'll just crunch it off what you can do now is you can move the weights away if you wanted while you're doing the texture so I'm just going to move these away a minute it's a bit of a long process these two are waiting for them to dry but if you just take your time there's no rush when you're doing it so rub it on like that and then we'll put off I'll hold the stencil down a bit Well, you can do sometimes you can go around the edge of it if you want it and just press it down a bit so you haven't got like a round circle around it so you could just get it and just pray press it around the edges a bit if you want it but I'm, I'm gonna leave it like that I'm gonna put some of these weights back on only because I'm gonna add a highlights and shadow to it So when you add any highlights and shadows, stop any um, paint going underneath. So I'll add a bit of a highlight here. Not much, just press the cap down lightly. And a bit of shadow there on this side. So we've got a bit of overspray on there on this one from this one but it doesn't matter as for background i think i might just add a few background colors too so i'll go back to this one just put a bit of purple in it what we could do is just put a bit of pink and there like that a bit of purple and then we'll add the stars I'll do the same on this one. Just add a bit of colour to the background. So. To this one, a bit of blue around this one. A bit of green in places. So I'll do with stars on these two. So flick, 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 and flick, flick, flick. now we've got all the colours and the stars in on the background it's now time for the best part and that's to take the lid stencils off so I'll just take all the weights off them all first so 
so hopefully none of these have stuck so first off a lid stencil I'm just gonna have to hold these down a bit they are a bit a bit stuck and now what I should have done with this I should have put something in the middle to lift it so I'm gonna have to get my pallet knife and try and lift this off Take your time. See, it's slightly stuck. This was, as you can see there, but not much. It wasn't quite dry enough because I put the weight on, so the weight pushes stencils into the paint even more. But to stop that, all you have to do is let it dry a bit longer. And now we'll pull this one off. So just take your time with this one. This one might be stuck a bit. So just take your time and you lift that up so you don't move a stencil or anything. So there's been a slight bleeding in it when I've lifted it up, but that's all right, I quite like it. So there's some different ways to make planets with spray paint. I really like each one of these. I really like how they've turned out. So we'll just go back to it. So that's a lid stencil that works really well. Nice and fit lid stencil. So you can see all around the planet when you're painting the background and that. And we'll move on to the bowl. That worked well as well. The only trouble with the bowl is you can't see around the back. You have to lean over more with the cans and that when you're spraying it. That worked all right. Then you've got the cardboard cut out. The glossy card cut out. That worked really well. It just didn't let the paint dry long enough. So it's stuck in places a bit. But apart from that, it worked well. And also then you've got the last one, which was the reverse stencil, which worked well. Just got a bit of bleed in here. That's because I didn't put enough weights on or the weights weren't heavy enough. Or I put a bit too much paint on, but it still turned out really well. Just got to take your time with this when you lift it off. But all in all, I'm really happy with the way they've all turned out. So hope you found the information in this video helpful and enjoyed watching it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. And also, if you're a new visitor and you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. And once again, thank you for stopping by and watching. I hope to see you all in the next spray paint art video. Have a great day, take care and bye for now.